हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टुडे इज हेड्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड्स टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम ऑल द चैप्टर्स एंड द चैप्टर विच इज ऑफ द बेसिक इम्पॉर्टेंस लाइक फ्रॉम हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड्स यू कम टू नो अबाउट द डिफरेंट हेट्रोसाइकल्स देयर प्रॉपर्टीज देयर नेमिंग देयर क्लासिफिकेशन नॉम इन क्लेचर एवरीथिंग विच हेल्प्स यू टू लर्न और टू मेमराइज द स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड टू नेम देम प्रॉपरली विद द आयू पैक सिस्टम एंड ऑल सो this basic part that is heterocyclic compounds we are going to cover few of the mcqs in part 1 we have seen few of the mcqs from the same chapter and in part 2 we will continue with few more questions and hence uh, beyond this also you have many more parts regarding heterocyclic compounds why because the chapter is the basic chapter and it is very important when you go for your syllabus from pharmaceutical chemistry so to start with the first mcq the question is examples of heterocycle containing only one hetero atom include dash heterocycle which contains only one hetero atom now before going to this part 2 i would request you to go through part 1 first because in part 1 we have covered the thorough classification of heterocyclic compounds so in that we have seen the heterocycles are classified as five membered six membered fused heterocycle seven membered and so on so the examples of heterocycle which contain only one hetero atom now here no specification is being made that whether they are five membered six membered fused and all so the examples are like it is pyridine furan thiophene or all of them so what are the heterocycles which contains only one hetero atom amongst the given heterocycle so the answer is it is all of them now we will look into the structures here you can see now the options pyridine furan thiophene now this one is like you can see furan and thiophene wherein you can see there is only one hetero atom furan contains oxygen and thiophene contains sulfur and if you look go to the six membered heterocycle here you can see it is pyridine which is a six membered heterocyclic compound which contains only one hetero atom so all these contains one hetero atom so the answer is all of them now moving towards the next question examples of five membered heterocycle which contains only one hetero atom include dash now here the question is specific it is five membered heterocycle so what all the five membered heterocycles are there which contains only one hetero atom whether it is pyrrol whether it is furan whether it is thiophene or all of them now in our earlier question we have seen about furan and thiophene now we will talk about pyrrol also before that we will see what is the answer the answer is it is all of them now how come all are oh, five membered heterocycle which contains only one hetero atom so this furan this is thiophene which we have earlier discussed and this one which is pyrrol is pyrrol contains aza furan contains oxa thiophene contains sulfur so it is matlab thaya okay sulfur it is called as thaya so the prefix which is used for sulfur is thaya prefix which is used for nitrogen is aza and prefix which is used for oxygen is oxa so furan contains oxygen pyrrol contains nitrogen thiophene contains sulfur so these are all the three five membered heterocycle which contains only one hetero atom now this sub classification also we have seen in the first part so again i would request you to go through the first part next question is example of six membered heterocycle containing only one hetero atom include dash whether it is pyridine 
whether it is piperidine, whether both of them or none of them. The correct answer is it is both of them. Six membered heterocycle which contains only one heteroatom include both of these pyridine as well as piperidine. As you can see here, this is six membered heterocycle which contains only one heteroatom and these are other six membered heterocycle which contains more than one heteroatom. So here in you can see pyridine which contains only nitrogen and piperidine which is the saturated form of pyridine contains again only one heteroatom. So the correct answer is it is both of them. Pyridine as well as piperidine contains only one heteroatom. Next question is examples of fused heterocycle containing only one heteroatom include whether it is acridine, quinoline, xanthine or all of them. The correct answer is it is all of them. Acridine, quinoline as well as xanthine that is X-A-N-T-H-E-N-E -E. it is I-N-E also but I-N-E contains more than two heteroatoms which are same and xanthine contains only one heteroatom. So how it is we will see now the structures acridine, quinoline and xanthine. So if you look into the structure this is quinoline isoquinoline okay quinoline you can see here this is nothing but naphthalene uh, jaisa structure hai if you will uh, look into the structures like benzene naphthalene anthracene and all so naphthalene may matlab it is fusion of pyridine and benzene if you look into it properly this one is benzene ring and this one is pyridine ring okay so quinoline contains only one heteroatom if you will move ahead this is nothing but this is acridine this is nothing but xanthine okay so this if you will see both of these contains only one heteroatom so the correct answer is it is all of them because acridine quinoline xanthine all contains only one heteroatom and they are fused see benzene and pyridine here it is anthracene ka ch is replaced by nitrogen here also it is anthracene ka ch is replaced by oxygen Next question is, which amongst the given fused heterocycle does not contain only one heteroatom? Now the question is reverse. Now acridine, quinoline, xanthine, just now we have seen all these three contains only one heteroatom. Now the remaining is xanthine, that is this is ENE and this is INE. So the correct answer is it is last one xanthine. Okay. So how it is we will see now xanthine and phenothiazine. Now here why I have included the structure of phenothiazine to tell you the difference between single heteroatom means one heteroatom and two heteroatom different heteroatoms. So in classification in part one we have already covered there are some five membered heterocycle which contains only one heteroatom or more than one heteroatom. Now in case of more than one heteroatom when you go in case of more than one heteroatom again there is a subclassification wherein one type contains there can be more than one heteroatom but both are same or all are same and the second class includes there can be more than one heteroatom but both are different like one is thaya one is azha one is oxa one is thaya and in case of same heteroatom all are same nitrogen nitrogen so you can see here in case of xanthine it is nitrogen 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 okay this is nothing but it is like uh, this pyrimidine ka modification hai. it is dione and imidazole so this xanthine contains more than one heteroatom but all heteroatoms are same and phenothiazine contains more than one heteroatom but both are different Next question is, which amongst the given 5 membered heterocycle does not contain only one heteroatom? Now, amongst these given, which one is the 5 membered heterocycle which does not contain only one heteroatom? So, whether it is oxazole, thiazole, imidazole, or all of them, the correct answer is it is all of them. Now, we will look into the structures of uh, each. Like oxazole, if you will see, this is oxa and azha, so the name is oxazole. 
देन इफ यू लुक इन टू द अदर इमिडाज होल दैट इज डाज होल है डायाज होल तो इट इज दो नाइट्रोजन सो इट इज फर्स्ट एंड इट इज थर्ड प्लेस पे दूसरा नाइट्रोजन थाया अजोल मतलब थाया एंड अजा सो इट इज सल्फर एंड नाइट्रोजन सो ऑल दीज थ्री फाइव मेंबर हेटेरोसाइकल कंटेन्स मोर देन वन हेटेरो एटम ओके सो दिस द आंसर इज इट इज ऑल ऑफ देम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच अमॉंग्स द गिवन सिक्स मेंबर हेटेरोसाइकल contain more than one hetero atom whether it is pyrimidine pyridazine pyrazine or all of them so aise kaun se six membered heterocycle hai jo ek se zyada hetero atom contain karte hai to iska answer hai it is all of them now how it is we will look into the structures pyrimidine then next is pyridazine and pyrazine so here you can see pyrimidine pyridazine and pyrazine so if you look into the structures properly the numbers like it is there is definitely more than one heteroatom now this pyrimidine contains nitrogen at first and third position pyridazine contains nitrogen at first and second position and pyrazine contains nitrogen at first and fourth position pyridazine da hai do hai to one and two hai pyrimidine okay so it is three first and third and pyrazine so it is first and fourth okay so these are the heterocycle six membered heterocycle which contains only which do not contain only one hetero atom so pyrimidine pyridazine pyrazine all are correct next question is name the heterocycles which are exceptions to the numbering rule Now whether it is isoquinoline, whether it is xanthine, E N E वाला xanthine, whether it is acridine or all of them, the correct answer is it is all of them. Isoquinoline, xanthine as well as acridine, all are exception to numbering rule. Why? Because in part one we have we had talk about the numbering rule. In that we have seen in the case of heterocycles, the numbering should always start with the hetero atom. but all these three structures if you will see in case of isoquinoline in case of acridine and in case of xanthine numbering does not start from hetero atom okay so here it, it, this nitrogen is at second position in case of isoquinoline actually we should have number 1 to this okay this also same acridine as well as xanthine so the correct answer is it is all of them because in this both structures also numbering will not start from the hetero atom this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and here it is also same so the correct answer is it is all of them now this question is also really very important from the exam point of view let it be a theory sort of exam or mcq exam so this is again the very 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 favorite question of the examiner now in part 1 we have seen some of the rules and few questions in part 2 also we have seen few of the questions again in part 3 and part 4 we will see the same type of questions regarding the nomenclature numbering rule classification of heterocycles thank you and stay tuned for our next part on heterocyclic compound that is part 3